share with you my experience. And let me say my experience in the, from the consumer side, from the buyer side, and also from the users. Let me say that uh, because my job is really traveling from one side to the other in the world, and talking and speaking with the, the several department stores, store, consumer, understanding what they like, and which is the perception of them. So I really prepare this type of presentation. I wish you enjoy it. And then, a little bit later, I will explain you why I put in my bag on this chair. So let's start. Of course, I want to talk about technology, creativity, and also, of course, uh, faces, the different faces and different aspects. And let me start with a very, very key point. It's no a matter of the name of the, the material. It's a matter of language. So this is my, my base right now. So it's a matter of language. I'm, I want to talk about the way we express letter in a very contemporary way. For sure, I want to just express this. People are not going to store and looking to buy a piece of leather or pieces of silk or wool or something like that. People are buying products, styles and concepts. And this is the reason why I put this picture, which is a bag, which is made by leather. It's a pure and perfect, honey leather, one of the highest quality. And in the meantime, you have a detail that is appreciation of the contemporary. And let me give you some other little uh, insights. So we speak letter, but first of all we speak about new stories to share. We don't want to listen to the old story. We want everything reshaped in a new way. So it's something like when you check Instagram. The, the first thing you will check it are the stories. It's the only place where people spend the most of their time and they share all the information. So everything has to be in movement. Little, little, little wraps. <laughs> and new ways to define learning. This is the language I'm talking about. And this is, I mean, this is really the right time because we are here, we are all together. Most of all, we are the, the top expert that know learning in the deepest way. But now we have to find new languages for all those generations that they really want to change the name. They want to change completely. They want to change up completely the perspective. And now let's see some of these suggestions, some of the suggestions that can define letter. High tech and low tech. So in the previous two presentations, we see a lot of the technology and also hand making. So we talk about high tech and low tech. So we use this kind of word. Now I want to show you a video. This video is it's coming from an Italian tannery. And what I want to show you, look at how they create the new letter. We, we think to be like in a laboratory, uh, can be like in a movie uh, uh, scene, and they are experimenting a uh, new skin, very light, inflatable, perfect, uh, something that can be uh, respecting the new performance at this time. So this is a, a type of image that give me the lightness, they give me the fluidity, they give me the, the beauty of this type of letter. But in the meantime, it's high tech and low tech. So of course, we can have this type of skin. This can be the surface, the faces that we have it. Something very innovative, but in the meantime, I can feel the grain, I can feel the touching, I can feel the lighting, and I can, if I'm a designer, or if I'm a consumer, I can immediately imagine which is the message I can give to somebody else when I'm wearing this letter, when I'm covering a chair, when I'm using an object with this type of letter. Of course, high tech can be also this kind of image. And please notice that the images that I'm showing to you are real letter, even this 
this this symmetry, this this person, this Byronic guy, it's wearing this kind of jacket, uh, turtle neck jacket in leather. And even we can go in other types of technology. We are still talking about skin, because leather is a skin. And in this case, this skin is inflated with high frequency. So it's maintaining the limax, which is one of the most important elements. Touching and lightness are the two biggest requests that we have from the most of the consumer internationally. And I'm talking about the millennial, generation Z, generation Epsilon, all types of generation that can also influence the father and the parents. Even bonded with other types of material. We don't dress leather 100% from top to down and reverse. Leather leave with other material. And the beauty is to find technology to mix it together and create in this kind of unexpected way. And even going inside of this kind of new surfaces of embossing, three dimensionality, a kind of new way to interpret the flower printing but using manual and high tech techniques. And even this kind of very, very peach and finishing. So, of course, I'm using the same word that we, that we listen when I have bio in front of me and they try to express me what the consumer wants. And the first thing that they will do it is touching, looking, and feeling. And this is a kind of international uh, language. And even let's go inside of all geometries. Patterns are changing very much their expression, so little geometries, little in innovation of pleating, because pleating gives the message of architectural, something that has relief, something that can have volume, evolution, a very contemporary image. And then of course we're going to the performance, and performance is one of the other very important elements, because all of us knows how we can use it. But let me say that the performance can be also combined with technology that come from other types of uh, field. Let's see in this case, when I was talking about story, let's evolve it and show you how can I change the different finishing by the machine by using images that attract me and give you the opportunity to see that perforation is one of the elements that is most requested, but in this case, we have 3D perforation, 3D cut and perforation. Inside of the perforation, I can also digital printing inside. And look at, at the end of the day, I can have this kind of very futuristic image by using super fine and very light skin perforated. And even why not interpreting other types of faces? We talk about polka dot. In this case, we have a banded leather perforated in another layer with metallics. Of course, I, I, I try to put also some videos because one of the most important elements in the language that express leather is touching. So only when I see the movement of leather, I can feel the feeling that can I have under my fingers. So if I present the leather like a flat uh, image, I can't feel it, and it's some point of impossible. Or let's see another element, stretch. In the performance, stretch is one of the most important part, because stretch gives me the opportunity to be molded, to take other shapes, to leave over other boxes uh, shaping. In this case, I can also move the letter into other categories because letter is not only the traditional way to be used. It. We have plenty of lifestyle and moment where we can use it. And even trims or frills, so which means decorated aspect like the different embroideries affect, but in this case I'm presenting you abundant types of leather pleated. And trust me, 
consumer lover is. They really love it. Yesterday, I, I did one of my, I just went to do my scouting around here in, in New York, and I went to a pop-up store in uh, Lower East Side. I, don't, I can't tell you the name, but you will guess it. So it was so interesting to arrive in a place where my idea was nobody was understanding about any types of material. It was a very top, big brand, luxury brand, creating this pop-up store for two weeks. And it was I was so impressed to see that the shop assistant was explaining me the beauty of a leather coat, pleated, and it was explaining me the beauty of this kind of pleating. And the, that was like, oh wow, this guy maybe knows something about leather. And then I said, no, he was knowing about leather. He was knowing about the performance and the beauty of this kind of effect. And again, let's go in other types of faces. We are talking again about leather, but here I really have this kind of three-dimensionality. And I can also imagine that this can become a component, an object, something that can live with me, live with me because it's my lifestyle product. And again, let's go inside the structural plating as well. And here, I like the idea to give you two different ways to create the plating effect. You can see one embossing in high frequency or the second one, which is more by heat creating the pleating. And also bonded leather with mesh and synthetic material all put it together. When I'm saying that in this case, I have also another types of effect of the three-dimensionality. And then let's have several uh, suggestions, several suggestions that the purpose also in this case is giving to you the little element of the innovation. Here I have the two-tone, I have this kind of toned-down dark metallics, but even in the same way I'm reinterpreting a kind of a crocodile printing basic. And I recognize by the movement and by the touch of the real leather. Of course, two-phase bonded leather with a very fluffy material. In this case, it's like it's nice to work with uh, Shirley and working with a very, very thickened volumes. But lightness has to be the must, always. And now let's discover the lifestyle. So lifestyle is one of the really, really topic of the moment. So it's something one. It's it's a kind of way that. We are dressing differently. We are not just buying baggage shoes and iPhone case. We are buying plenty of things for our life. Let's see this image. Of course, uh, some of you that live in online network scene or radio dispatcher. So this is an electronic machine, it's a coffee machine covered by leather. And now we have plenty of application in objects that we are using in our everyday life. Because in this case, I embrace the concept of something which is luxurious. It's beautiful. It's, it's a kind of ritual. You know, drinking a coffee is a ritual. And in the same way, it's nice to get this kind of rituality also with the types of material. And of course, I always like to put some of the techniques just to see, in, in this case, it's interesting to see how they created this kind of process. And then we have another type of application, which, let me tell you, I used the spectrum in, in my latest, I think, three months, and I presented in, in Korea, in Japan, in China, in, uh, in South Africa, in several places, and I presented the concept of this. What you notice is to have a vegetable tan leather inside of a car. And the most appreciated is from the young generation. So you have the genuinity inside of the car. So, of course, the person that are much more technical in this kind of thing, they, they really know that it's, a little, it's very difficult to have a natural skin inside on a car. For automotive, we have plenty of certification to follow. And this is a kind of extreme that the tannery wanted to propose. And then again, 
let's go inside of other types of concept, softness. I, I heard from my previous presentation the softness, the touch, and so the beauty of this kind of elements that the only pure letter can give to us. You can keep it and maintain it, but incorporating this kind of high-tech performance and not embossing by stitching, because stitching in this case is considered much more older. I'm also using high frequency. And this is the other types of element. And then, of course, luxurious toys. This is another very important thing. Uh, football uh, ball, uh, or the ping pong basket tools, all these kind of gaming little tools are becoming the best attraction for most department store because they, they prefer to put this kind of leather toys, or let me see, high top, very new design toys, because they are much more attractive. And I'm talking about brands which are very, very top. I can give you some names right now. So we, we move from El Medici to Zenia to Chanel, from Armani to Vuitton, from several brands that they absolutely understood the value of the letter, but they understood the types of the product has to be completely different. So this is the reason why I was talking about we buy a product, we buy a concept. And again, other elements, and in this case I love it, to incorporate this kind of combination of a very antique tradition of a subtle maker. And I like this video so much because it's given well, the potential of the carving the letter and creating the subtle, subtle stitching, the subtle finishing since the beginning. But let's see the transformation of today. I want to use the same concept of construction but incorporating in types of shape which are extremely more innovative. And even another very important element, longevity, memory, and revive. And let me say, let me tell you that this is a kind of the interpretation of one of the aspects of sustainability. Sustainability, it's also recycling something. So imagine when you buy, you go in a vintage, high vintage store, you buy the best vintage bags from the past, you buy a Kelly bag, you buy some of the pieces, they are made by leather. So longevity can be also the memory to keep and maintain the same product because live with generation. And trust me, the young generation is very concerned about this. And they like the idea to take back pieces that they found it, but this has to be in leather. And of course, let me show you some of the interpretation how to maintain and keep this kind of longevity. This is a, is a boxing and weaving uh, techniques, creating objects and creating little objects like sport elements or the vintage pieces I was talking about. These are two pictures, just a couple of pictures that I found. So where you can see purely original vintage. Maybe just move after two or three generations. And this is another very interesting element. Or let me see another type of uh, taking back memories. In this case, it's a kind of combination between modern and old techniques. You can see the old techniques of back relief, which is the heritage techniques, but you can also see on the other side so this kind of laser cutout application that can interpret the memory and put this memory in a futuristic stage. And also this kind of rustic embellishment combining, again, uh, quite more traditional techniques like advancing and even laser perforating where the laser perforation is maintaining and keeping a new pattern. And then we have another element, which is another world that absolutely and it's so important to be incorporated in the new language or in the language. So it's circular life. I don't want to just talk about economy, I don't want to talk about the life. Listen.
listening, which is the life in the different stages. Let's see this video, which is made by one, again, by another kind of companies that give to us the circular life of different material, including. storytelling. I have the ingredients, I have all the different stuff, mixing and melting the different elements. But this is a kind of way to give little insights, the short insights, some notes. I read it, I get in my mind, and I want to see again other elements. And of course, we go also inside of creative manipulation. So manipulation, in this case, I wanted to show my latest uh, slides, I've given to you leather. This is leather. Leather is intricate, it's performing. I can, I can work it out in so many different ways. But one of the very important things that I also noticed from some of the students at the, uh, at the Parsons School that I see them from this morning, it's when you work with leather, you need to understand leather. You need to understand how it's moving, how it's evolving, how you can use it. And this is the language we have to use. Can I cut it? Can I perforate it? Which is the performance I can get? Which is the best element I can get it? I can be immersed inside of it. And also looking at this, in this case, I have this kind of effect of soft imprinting. But I, I again incorporated the two different elements, a robot hand and hand, a hand, a human hand. And even in this kind of in this kind of example, so the manipulation of the skin with the cutter, giving this kind of airy effect, fluid effect, something they can they can wear in, in, a, in a certain way. And, and even look at when you move it, you see the movement, you see the fluidity. And look at in this case, experience with the crystals. And this is like, I took at this kind of example that's come from one of the experimental area that Lena Bell is organizing, Innovation Square, where we invited to experiment in the different natural surfaces using really the different unexpected material. And even look at in, a, in this other kind of element. I have a, I have a pattern which is very traditional, but the way it was being made is very innovative because it's not a normal embossing. And let me give you another topic, of course. <laughs> Leather, it's feedback. Because we want also to give the different human, human aspect. So Leather is famous something like this. Look at this kind of uh, smoothness in Tarsia. Uh, this kind of fluidity, stretch, this kind of delicacy. So many times I've seen images that talk about leather and I always think, oh, why do you want to push the aggressivity, the aggressive things to the strength? This is so female. And look at this kind of image of this lady. This is a painting made by digital with a little touch of spray on the edge. It's high frequency stitching, it's not gluing, and we have two types of skin, and on the top we have vegetable tongue skin. 
So we use the beauty of vegetable upon the skin, which unlike the different shades, this is feedback because it's very emotional in a certain way. Always a full body. When I define a full body of skin, I don't want to just feeling deep, this is strong. It's full body, it's full rounded, it's a rounded feeling. And even the figurative aesthetic, which is a female in a certain way that in looking in this case, in this case I can have this kind of reflective three, three dimension in the, in the painting. And even this kind of, when we talk about softly vaporizing, vaporize can be like the same feeling that I have in the cosmetic tools, because most of the cosmetic tools are finishing the vaporize, and leather is the best material to have this kind of finishing. And also, he makes because we talk about incorporated techniques that come from jewels, from embellishment of the gold and silver jewels world, and in this case, you can see it. And of course, advertising the deepness of the imprinting, the deepness of the embossing, so with this, this type of gluing. And as my last slide, something that can give you another kind of uh, information about, we talk about lace, and we can make lace by letter, but in the same time, we can also use traditional techniques and embossed perforated in high frequency and even uh, finish it in this kind of um, high stitching techniques. So, I'm finished my presentation, but before to the stage, I'd like to explain this kind of that. So, this is a bag. You can say, you can think it's a simple bag, and this is a purely made by leather. But I didn't move for this. It's because it's a look. It's because we need to be innovator. And even at the same time, I discover a surprise. It's not dyed, it's not hand dyed. It means that some technology has to come from somewhere. And then they have this color around. And this made me, oh wow, I love it. How much did it cost? I don't care. I love it. Thank you so much.